It doesn't matter if we're talking about books, games, art, plagiarism is never okay, and some people out there do it, and even worse, they do it tons of times. I talked a few weeks ago about Capcom being accused of plagiarism twice, actually. Once they were accused of stealing monster designs from a movie, and another time, they were accused of taking someone's photos and basically copying what was in them, and then putting those images into a few different games. And I've talked about my fair share of art plagiarism, but this case that I'm talking about about today isn't the same as the past ones that I've talked about because usually I'm talking about art plagiarism where we've got a handful of images, maybe like three or four images, but in this case we are talking about dozens and dozens of pieces of artwork from pretty notable creators. And the creator who very clearly took, let's say, inspiration from the original artwork sold these paintings to museums for thousands upon thousands of dollars. And when accused of plagiarism, she didn't just say that she did it, she blamed men as the reason why she did it. This is a very confusing situation, I'm going to be honest. So this person posted, My fan art has been plagiarized. The plagiarist is an Argentine named Fatima Pechicaro. I hope that I'm saying her name right. This painting has already been sold to Museo Avita, a public museum, for a very high price, and I don't know who she is, but please don't buy her art. So as this person said, they found some Someone plagiarized their art and they didn't really know much about the artist but there is currently a Google Doc filled to the brim with examples from this person Fatima Pechicaro um, stealing other people's artwork and the Twitter replies are filled with other examples as well. There's also an article I want to read which is translated so unfortunately a little bit of it is confusing. So the Argentine artist is being accused of plagiarism and defends herself, and like I said, I have no idea why she would defend herself in the way that she did, but it says the expansive effect of an exploding bomb in the art world could be international in scope. This is what happens at this time with uh, an artist, a member of a feminist collective, 37 years old, whom several artists denounce for plagiarism of works by other colleagues from abroad. Again, Again, plagiarism is never okay. It says chosen by collectors at an Art BA 2018 and the winner of the prize in work in Barrio Joven in April of this year, and also as a result of her first solo exhibition at the Evita Museum, flags and pennants, suddenly the artist went from being an unknown artist who sells work at juicy prices, even in a pandemic. Last April, on the occasion of its exhibition at the Avita Museum, the artist told the magazine, what do you think of the story as fiction, a story that we learn at school, but also at university with another part of the world? And she added, everything for me is input. I don't just paint with a palette. I paint with everything that I look at. And let's go over to a few examples of the plagiarism here. Let's see what they were looking at because clearly they were looking at other people's art. Here is one of the uh, largest examples being spread around. So as you'll be able to see as we go through these images, on the left is the original, on the right is Fatima Pechicaro's accused plagiarized art, and I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm not trying to be too mean with her art itself here. If she likes the way that she paints, then good for her, but I just think that her art really isn't that great, and I genuinely don't know why a museum would buy it from her. I mean, should I be nice to someone who seems to be stealing art and reselling it for thousands of dollars? No, but that doesn't mean that I need to go too hard against her. I personally think that the original artwork that she seems to have traced over in most cases are far superior, and some of these unfortunately do not have um, the original artist's credit yet because they've just been shared online so many times, but as you can see in these cases, this is the one that I saw on Twitter. On the left is the original, on the right is the copy. I just feel like a big problem with her art compared to the original art is that 
she very rarely actually changes any details. I feel like that is why she actually got caught. And I'm not saying, oh my gosh, get good, you wouldn't get caught. Because ultimately, if you're plagiarizing something, you should get caught for it. You should get called out for it. But everything basically is the same. Again, the way that the skirt falls is exactly the same. The second image, um, nothing is changed besides the eye color. Like, you, you changed her eyes from green to blue. Did you really think that no one was going to catch on to that? Oh, excuse me, she also didn't add holes in her pants. If we scroll down, there are even some arts from official companies that she unfortunately blatantly took from, which I think is really the giveaway, and that's why a lot of people started really uh, calling her out. I mean, she took an art of a character from an anime series. Um, she also took, if we scroll down... Nardic artworks, some of their art. Kota Bukia. I mean, she tried to recreate Kota Bukia statues. Did she genuinely think that she wasn't going to get called out for this? And yes, in this case, the outfit's actually very different and the hair is very different. But clearly, the poses are almost exactly the same. You can tell the way that the uh, legs line up, the way that the feet are bent, the way that the chair is. It's all basically the same except for changing the hair and slightly an outfit on a character. I mean, you can't be doing stuff like this. This isn't okay, and this does deserve to get called out. She even took from a Chinese novel. There are just, there are a lot of examples here. We've also got another anime movie, an anime series. I mean, holy crap, we are talking about a lot of examples here. NIS America. Did she not think that people would be able to see these side by side and go, wait a minute, I feel like I've seen that image before. All she did was slightly change uh, the color of the outfit and the hair. So I do know that this list of plagiarized works has only been online for like two weeks, but you'd think that it would have been brought up way sooner with just how many pieces she basically copied. But as far as I've seen, she's never been called out to this extent. Why would she think that she could just get away with this, especially when she's selling these pieces to a museum where I'm sure tons of people will see them and when they're being posted on the internet. Now, I want to head back to the Pledge Times article and just read the section where she tries to defend herself in these accusations and also just defend her work, but it says the artist speaks. So her defense of plagiarism is so not okay at all because she's basically saying, well, I saw this fan art that someone did of a My Little Pony character and it's okay that I copied her art because the artist that I copied, well, she doesn't own the original franchise. She doesn't own My Little Pony, so technically she's plagiarizing too. That's not how it works. Even though the artist, one of the artists that she plagiarized from um, took a character that was in something that she doesn't own, like a big franchise like My Little Pony, she still was, you know, creating the characters' positions and the clothing and reimagining it. That's not a defense for plagiarism. Well, I'm plagiarizing a plagiarist. That That's not how this works. So it says for her, it's about a cruelty with macho bias, given the title of the video that ignited the controversy was feminist ripping off a national museum. She is a feminist. She says in her bio, she said in interviews that she is a feminist and that is important to her. So it's not a lie. She actually is a feminist. I don't know why that bothers her so much. Why is it a problem that men are pointing out the fact that she's a feminist? And that's her excuse, blaming the men. Oh no, it's men. That's the reason why this is all happening. She said, this is a part of a type of violence that I received as a woman, as an artist. It is political and psychological violence, she added. It is a form of discipline because tomorrow, maybe, I'm going to be afraid to say something again. They have released my personal data and it cannot be that way um, because I have chosen to close my networks. It is serious. Now, doxing someone is never okay. I personally online couldn't find any instances of people doxing her or anything like that. I mean, her name is is public because her art is in a museum um 
you know, me saying her name right now isn't me doxing her. That's publicly known information. So I'm not sure what she means by they released her personal data. If that did happen, that's not okay. But she's literally saying, I'm a woman, which is why this is happening to me. You're being called out by men, women, and you're being called out because you've stolen someone's artwork, traced over it, and are selling copies of it for thousands upon thousands of dollars. Of course you're going to be called out when that happens. Being a woman doesn't mean that you can just steal someone's art and resell it. I just genuinely don't know what men have to do with this. And as you can see, there are tons and tons and tons of images here. And I feel really bad for the original artists that she stole from because she is getting a lot of recognition on her art. Um, a lot of people have a lot of crazy conspiracy theories that, you know, it's money laundering and that's why her art is being put into the museum. I'm not going to speculate on any of those, but it's a really unfortunate situation and I feel really bad for all of the artists that she plagiarized from. This thread will be linked in the description in case you want to check it out for yourself, but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.